Love and Marriage Trust Bill premiered last night, and me and Megan already talked about it last. Well, not last, but while we was watching it. But I wanted to bring it to the masses, and hopefully she stitched this too, so she can talk about it too. So jumping right into it, I don't understand why Melanie was the one to plan Kimmy's um, cancer celebration. Melanie has made it clear that these people are not her friends, and she even said that she hadn't talked to these people or really talked to Kimmy since the reunion. And being that she's going through cancer, a life-altering, changing, emotionally, physically thing, you would think that she would make a better effort to, you know, be a better friend, be a better co-worker, I mean, something. Um, I just didn't understand why Kimmy enlisted her to be the one to help her with the party. Following to the party, Maurice was irritating me so bad this episode because he was like really trying to diminish the fact that Kimmy wanted to celebrate a milestone. Now, yes, she still has three more things to do. She got to do the surgery and she's got to do radiation, but she's done with chemo. That is something to celebrate. And if she wanted to do a gala, support her and do a gala like cancer. I know two people that have the same type of cancer that Kimmy has. Um, and I was pretty close to them during their treatment process. And cancer really is an emotionally, emotionally taxing thing. And I've noticed within the people that I know and with Kimmy that they kind of tend to do too much in an effort to not, you know, be sick and have the people around them worrying about them. But still, let her do her. Celebrate her. Do everything that she want to do. But then let's get into Melanie and Stormy. I just think it's so ridiculous that Melanie told this girl that she could have DM'd her and they're supposed to be friends. Megan made a very good point that Melanie do, does this thing where she brings these people on the show, they follow up behind her, and then when they become a breakout star, then all of a sudden, she don't talk to too many people. She not friends with people on the show, but Stormy was your friend. I think part of her is upset that Stormy wanted to reconcile with Destiny, who she, again, another person that she brought on the show, and she fell out with and so she's upset that she decided to build a friendship with stormy but to tell destiny but to tell this girl that she you changed her number that she texted you you didn't reply you wanted her to call you and then you wanted her to dm you now i've had the same phone number since i was in eighth grade i've never changed my phone number but i'm going to send my number to my friends so none of that whole interaction and logic made any sense to me but i'm i'm out of time